CustomTacticals.com, uh, and the knife I'm reviewing today is the Spidaco Polywog in G10. This uh, knife retails at uh, 185 but uh, as with all Spidercos, you can get it for a little bit less um, when you actually buy it online or, or from a brick and mortar store. Uh, blade length on this one is 2 and 5 sixteenths, pretty small blade. Um, as you can see, it's got a funny shape. It's a Eric Glasser design. You can see from Eric's signature there if uh, you can get it to show in the light. Ball bearing lock. One of the neat things about this knife is is actually the short travel from from closed to open, which I noticed right right away. It it it, it takes almost like no time for it to, and you can open it with that little hump there too. It just takes almost no time to open because because the close and open position isn't isn't actually like 180 degrees. It's it's a bit shorter than that. I'm not sure how much it is, but you can tell immediately on opening that it just it, it travels very very little distance to go from a closed and opening position, and it has a great feel if you're holding it like this and choking up on it, or if you're you know doing some work where you want to index the top of it. It's actually quite nice. Uh, I think I think Eric uh, puts a lot of work into making making knives have a great ergonomic feel to them and um, almost an intentional functional ugliness to them, which uh, the Polywog has in spades. Sort of a funky, uh, double, lumpy sort of thing going on in the back here. Uh, the Polywog also came in a stainless version. Um, both are now discontinued. I picked this up along with a Howard Vile designed uh, Spiderco Phoenix uh, from my local store, Warriors and Wonders. There was, it was a package deal of discontinued Spideys, so I thought it was a pretty good deal, so I snapped them up. Um, G10 handles very light on this one. The, the whole knife only weighs 2.5 ounces, which is pretty good. Um, it's uh, no liners on the back here. It just has the stainless steel uh, ball bearing lock mechanism, which uh, sort of surrounds the lock with stainless steel to, to make sure you get a good a good fit here. It's, it's a nice lock, actually. Quite quite like it. Quite like the ball bearing lock. Uh, Spyderco has improved it. In, the, in recent years, um, from when it first came out, and it's uh, gotten better and better. The ball is a lot bigger now, easier to use, and it spins so that it doesn't wear out in any one space. It's kind of handy, and that that uh, opening system here is kind of kind of handy. If you can't open it from here, for whatever reason, you can do it this way. You can push it up against jeans sometimes and, and catch it. On my finger, it's a bit harder, but there, you can use friction there to pop it open if you. If you can't get your finger into the hole, so it's kind of a neat thing there. Um, made in Seiki City, Japan. BG10 steel, as most Seiki City ones are. It's got a spear point, um, a little bit reminiscent of the Spyderco Native, with a little hollow grind there. Um, because of the short grind, it's it's not the thinnest blade. Um, the blade itself is one eighth of an inch, so uh, uh, with a two and five sixteenth blade length, and actual cutting edge is less than less than. Uh, two inches, uh, since the large portion of the blade is is, is coil. But um, I mean, all those things aside, it, it it is it is a small knife, but it cuts pretty big because you you can get you can get a lot of leverage on it, and 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 it'll cut through stuff if you need to. It's not going to feel like a Swiss Army knife that's got a that's got like a two and a half inch blade, even though this one is less than two inches. Uh, the Spyderco Salsa and, and many other Spyderco big little knife designs are, are are quite good at being bigger than they look. Um, Polywog's one of those as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, pocket clip is reversible, um, not uh, not. Not only only from left to right hand carry for a tip up only. It doesn't reverse the tip down, even though there's a a pivot there. I I kind of wondered if 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 they would if they maybe considered putting uh, making it so that you could put the pocket clip there since the the pivot screw looks to be the same as the the back screw. But perhaps they didn't want you removing the pivot screw just so you can uh, move the pocket clip or, or something like that. So it maybe it, it affects the way it adjusts. Um, Great fit and finish on, on the Polywog, no play whatsoever, and still very smooth opening and closing. I really like the ball bearing lock. Um, in Aside from the fact that it's slightly harder to close than the axis lock, um, the, the fit and, 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 and action of, of the ball bearing locks, uh, in my opinion, is superior to, to that of the, of the axis lock. The axis lock does 
um, it does uh, make it easier for you to close because it just grips a little bit better than the ball does, in my opinion at least. I know I know others have different opinions, so um, that's just uh, how I feel about them. But from virtually every other virtually every other uh, uh, standpoint, I think it's 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 a superior lock. Maybe it doesn't look quite as uh, quite as nice as the access lock, but it's easier to clean, and uh, it's basically the same type of mechanism. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Spyderco Polywog in G10.